All right, hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today we have some more Suicide Squad news. Um, there's been a lot of drama, um, some leaks, and some official news. So today we're going to be talking about all of it. Leave a like, subscribe, you want to see more. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, first off, the drama. Because if you don't know, earlier today, uh, people have been talking about the many, many very obvious hackers that are on the leaderboards because if you go to the leaderboards like i'm gonna just go here you'll see that there are some very obvious hackers as you can see that damage right there uh, if you go to the talent screen and go to their squad talent they have over a million points in damage 10 million points in damage while airborne i mean like it's pretty clear when people are hacking and they've even started to have unreleased cosmetics be used so someone named Tricks Ridiculous, um, big supporter of the game, I'm sure you've heard of him, but basically they tweeted out the fact that someone ha on the leaderboard had their name shown as that they were playing with Deathstroke and it had the symbol for his character, like how it does for like if you go to your loadout, like how at the top, how it has these, it had a little Deathstroke mask and it says Deathstroke. The character model isn't there because it's not in the game yet. But basically, uh, he tweeted this out and was like, this is ridiculous, blah, blah, blah. And then, guess what? WB DMCA'd the post. And people aren't happy about it. Because, well, there are very few people that are in support of this game right now. Very pe few people who make content around this game that are actually fans of the game and are supporting the game. And for WB to just do something like that, is just kind of ridiculous. It's stupid. They also have been using the unreleased Two-Face gear and other cosmetic items that haven't been released yet, like the Gentleman Ghost outfits and stuff. And it's just, it's just annoying. And I mean, they literally DMCA'd a content creator that's showing uh, how there's a hacker in the game. And they took it down, like, as if they did something wrong. Like, they took a picture of the in-game leaderboards and posted it, and they got DMCA'd, DMCA'd for it. That's just stupid and ridiculous in every conceivable way. But, like, the fact that they're DMCA'ing about Deathstroke is ridiculous also because it's... Everyone already knows Deathstroke's coming, not only because of leaks, but because if you play the game, at the very end of the game, you get a teaser for the next four seasons, and it shows Deathstroke right there, and he's in the prequel comic, and they teased it in Arkham Origins. I mean, it's pretty clear that Deathstroke's coming. I mean, that's just stupid. But basically, because of this, um, Miller went ahead and confirmed some stuff because he's a little annoyed. I'm a little annoyed. A lot of people are pretty annoyed right now with WB. And uh, here is what he said. Multiple sources at Rocksteady tell me that Kevin Conroy recorded dialogue for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League post-launch's post-launch campaign before his passing. Um, I kind of talked about this a little bit before, but yeah, that is a thing. Um, Batman returns to Metropolis in, in Suicide Squad's upcoming fourth season after being rescued from a medieval-themed Elseworld of Brainiac's design, joining the Flash and Green Lantern as the Justice League continue to reform following the events of the game's campaign. Season 4 of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is currently slated to commence in January 2025, this season also brings Deathstroke into the fray as a new playable character who is of two minds about rescuing the man who, who is of two minds about rescuing the man who humiliated him in Arkham Knight. This storyline concludes in the game's fifth season when when the reassembled Justice League join forces with Argus to end Brainiac's multiversal reign of terror. Sources tell me that this will likely serve as the game's finale, with season one doing little to reignite sales. This is really a huge disappointment um for multiple reasons for me this game is it means a lot to me okay i've probably been as into this game as i've been into like probably like three other games i've played it for close to 200 hours i mean i just enjoy the game i think that the game is much better than avengers was avengers had a lot of issues that were just baked into the actual game itself like the gear system being completely just bad in general and would have needed an overhaul to fix, but I feel like this game really doesn't have those issues. The biggest 
issues, quote unquote, are just people not liking the story or not liking the fact that it is a Suicide Squad game. Or that it's not an Arkham game and stuff, which I don't know. I feel like it's kind of stupid, but I also think that if you don't like the style of gameplay, that's fine. I mean, everyone likes different games. It's really disappointing for me because I'm a huge fan of the game. And this game has also really, really, really helped the channel, which if you don't know, I'm trying to do this as a, an actual like job at some point. And if you look at my channel videos, you'll see that any video not related to this game recently has gotten mostly has gotten under 1000 views, which is pretty bad. But basically, when this game dies, my channel is probably going to die, too. So it's both depressing as a fan of the game and as wanting to do YouTube stuff around superhero games. And it's just a dumb thing because I really do think that this game deserves so much more. And the fact that it's gotten all of the hate before the launch. Okay, anyways, let's continue. So it's looking like season five is going to be the last season. Okay, guys. Now, after this, he kind of went on and explained some other stuff. Now, first off, uh, someone asked him, uh, wait, five seasons, 13 Brainiac, something doesn't add up. You're missing two. Uh, and this is a minor spoiler. So if you don't want to see this, just skip forward a bit. Deathstroke has been working for Amanda Waller behind the scenes the whole time and has already killed two Brainiacs off screen when you meet him in season four. So he also said that the other characters that he's heard were on the table for season six and beyond are Killer Croc, Katana, Poison Ivy, Black Manta, Scream Queen, and Gorilla Grodd. Now he does specifically say for season six and beyond, which means we still don't know what season five's character is. or if season five has a character. And I wouldn't be surprised if season five doesn't have a character because it doesn't, he didn't say, and I don't know, I just feel like season five being the last season and them trying to get everything done, they might have no new characters. I don't know. There might be, but the characters being, uh, I don't know if I already said it, but Killer Croc, okay. We already kind of knew Killer Croc was maybe an idea and that's fun. I like that. Killer Croc's fun. Katana, really cool idea. Katana would be fun in this game, I think. Poison Ivy, which is really interesting. I'm assuming that they would age her up at some point in the storyline, and that's like the idea for that. Black Manta, who is one of the ones I've really, really wanted in the game. I think he would be amazing. Green Queen, which who, uh, very unknown character, but I think would have been a fun character. And last, Gorilla Grodd, another character I really wanted and actually someone who I thought would never in a million years come to the game. Oh my God, the fact that none of those characters are ever going to come to this game probably is very disappointing. And I want to say the reason I'm saying probably is because there technically is a chance that this game comes back with season two and three and becomes super popular or something and people finally start giving it a chance. That's probably not going to happen because people have already made up their minds about this game. People don't change their minds about stuff really because that's kind of like admitting you're wrong a little bit. And I'm not saying that everyone, everyone's opinions about the game is just wrong. Like that if you don't like the game, you're dumb or something, but I don't know. I feel like a lot of people who haven't given it a chance would actually like it if they just did. But anyways, um, it's it's probably not going to happen, but it technically I it technically could theoretically happen where the game it does continue past season five and they go with a new storyline with Dark Side as a villain or something. But that's ninety nine point nine nine percent chance it's not going to happen. OK. Now, someone asked if there are any plans for some new missions and stuff. And Miller said, there's a unique mission type getting worked on right now where you have to steal these giant gumballs and put them in a thing on a timer. And if the timer runs out, you have to destroy the thing instead. I don't know too much about it. I believe it has Lex 2 on the field, which makes sense. If you don't know, there is a bit of a secret. If you go to Lex Corp right now, you can see that Lex is building a new suit a power suit uh well not a new suit because this is lex 2 but you get the idea now this makes sense we already knew that season 5 was a get out of jail free card for the game and that they were probably going to end it there if they game didn't do well but to learn that it's kind of already gonna be ending there 
even though there technically could still be a chance, is kind of disappointing. And I feel like having this news even lessens the chance more, almost, because I feel like when people know that it's already going to end, that people are going to... I don't know. Anyways, that is all of the leaks. Okay. Now, the they released a official uh, developer update, like the weekly one that they do. And they said... Uh, we are aware of several issues, Raising Hell issues, uh, Invisible Joker, I'm sure a lot of you have seen that, the black screen issues, and the Steam Deck issues. Now, they said that they are working on fixes for all of those things. They also said that there are some upcoming balance patches, including changes to Craze Immunity, with enemies no longer being immune to Venom Frenzy, which I'm very glad about. Craze enemies taking... 50% less damage and craze immunity has been renamed to craze tolerance. This is a good change in my opinion. It means that even though these builds aren't as viable for this season, that they're still able to be used without completely making them unusable at all. They also said there's pain suppression changes, damage reduction has been reduced to 50% down from 95, burn and poison ha are going to get a buff, Increased damage over time for burn and poison at higher mastery levels. Now, they are also increasing the battle pass XP that you gain, and they're going to be doubling the amount that you get. This is a really good change, in my opinion. It takes way too long already in this game to do the battle pass. And while there are workarounds, like, I found a good way. I have a video if you want to watch that. It'll be uh, linked at the end. But at, it is a good change that they're going to be increasing the actual amount that you do gain. Now, they also increased the drop chance for master items at higher mastery levels, which I think is a good change and does encourage you to actually do higher mastery levels because you are going to still be getting some better stuff. The image reduction from the nightmare stacks gained from the tier, tier 3 scarecrow set has been increased to 20% damage reduction from 10% damage reduction. Now, they also said some other stuff, just like how you unlock uh, Joker and stuff, just like basic tutorial stuff for people that don't know. Now, they also s commented on the whole cheating thing because there's been a lot of cheaters. Now, they said over the last few weeks, we have identified a number of, of accounts that have bypassed our anti-cheat system to gain an unfair advantage, most obviously when taking top leaderboard spots. We have now taken action against several of the offenders who have engaged in practices that violate our terms of service, giving them a temporary ban and resetting their accounts, which is oof. But honestly, you know, I know that people will say, what's the point of the leaderboard? But some people do care about the leaderboard, so it sucks that there's people that are going to be cheating. Now, not only are they getting a temporary ban and their accounts reset, any further infractions from the accounts will result in a permanent ban. We thank you for your patience as we continue to monitor the situation. That's all for us this week. Thank you for joining us in Season 1. And that is it. And honestly, I don't know how I'm feeling right now. I'm kind of just uh, disappointed. I didn't really even want to make this video, but I feel like I kind of have to, since I do need to talk about the game, uh, kind of. But yeah, that is going to be it for the video. I'll see you guys all next time.